Wow, come everyone. Today we'll have a new guide for Xenos on Zero on the trust leveling to rank 4 for all different characters, including adopting the pet, and also how to earn up to 80 polychromes each faster on each of the 16 characters. In together, over 1,283 polychromes can be earned this way. I have prepared a number of nodes including the daily trust rewards and also random encounters, additional random encounters that you can find and also earn additional experience. And in this video, I will be going through all the methods, the checklist, and also how to use a combat system to skip through the time. And this will in return allow you to have more encounters and find more experience between different characters, not just coming from the three out of three direct calls. I have also prepared my entire daily run of the video of what I do in each of the day to skip time, to find characters, and then to find more trust rewards. And we'll go through this directly and you can see there are a number of methods as you talk and also you encounter more characters you'll have a great increase of trust reward and also trust experience which allow you in return to unlock your character to rank 4 and then getting all the rewards coming from this so coming over to our notes if you haven't seen our previous video which will focus on how to get and also adapt your free pad i definitely recommend you have a look at that we do have a step-by-step -step guide on this and this is by far the hardest trust reward so i have a special video about this as we get trust level higher on different characters as you can see over here i have gotten a few characters to quite high level and in return they will provide you guys with additional polychromes and also a special wallpaper that is going to be available. The biggest factor for me is actually getting the 83 polychromes on each of those characters. And this comes at level 2 for 20, level 3 for 30, and 30 more at level 4. There is a massive amount of free polychromes to be earned this way. And if you have seen our previous Excel summary, I have added this as a major factor to earn more polychromes in the game. And the focus of, of cost me how to get this one quickly. Now the basic method of getting character trust level is that you can directly call characters each day for three times. So if I come over to the telecommunication, if I come to the DM, you can see here I have two more goals to call different characters to directly increase the trust level. And some of those characters will have the trust level higher. And you want to call characters that does not have the maximum trust level, which can enable you to get additional experience. Now this is quite straightforward, and once you have characters to a higher trust level at the threshold for each of the levels, you want to stop calling them, but rather wait for a random encounter. This will happen multiple times at level 2, 3, and also level 4. And those random encounters are triggered after you have progressed some time in the game, and this will lead up to the unlocking of the next trust level. Now, as an example over here, you can see my Grace is about to get one of those random encounters. Mama Anton just got one of those random encounters. And in my replay video, which I show you guys on the second part, we'll go through those random encounters and what experience you get from those. Now, finally, there's also additional random encounters each of the day as you force through the time and also as you pass through the time. So if I come over to this image, you can see there are special icons that indicate there is the presence of additional random encounters at this location with exclamation mark and also the character head over here and i highlighted this and once you click into it it will tell you there's trust level experience to be earned and this will allow you to get additional character trust level as you come to those locations and find those characters and should you guys want a step-by-step -step guide on the second part i'll go through this whole encounter with you guys so to summarize our particular method is that we will be direct calling three different characters every day. We'll try to split out on the characters we're calling so that they actually have different fractions and also different locations. It's quite important to spread all those characters because once you finish the trust level of all the characters, then that particular location won't give you bonus encounter experience. We'll be using daily random encounter experience and using the combat system to skip and also progress through the time. And during the midnight and during random times of the day, as we progress through time, we also get additional experience for random encountering the icky pet, which is the cat that is available on the 6th street. And I'll show you guys in this video. And once you repeat those whole process, you'll be able to get much, much more bonus experience compared to just calling three characters each of the days. And this in return will help you to get your levels with trust levels for all the characters much faster. 
Now that we went through the methods, let me go through the entire replay here for you guys as a demonstration of what's happening. And here I will be skipping the story just so you guys won't get any spoilers. So you can see I have just unlocked one of my characters to trust level 4, and this is MB. Of course we'll get all her rewards. But the major focus is how do I do each of the steps each of the days. At the start of the day, let me show you guys the time of the day. The time of the day is 6 right now, and this means it's morning. You can continue to reset the time of the day once per day. So once I click this, my time will progress to 12. And now I can't click anymore, right? So I use my combat force time skip method, come over to chapter 2 interlock, and the map we'll be going to is going to be the challenge mode for the story with a farewell scoop. And I'll be combating those monsters, and it takes me less than one minute to defeat them. Upon defeating those monsters, I don't actually get any reward except the progression of time. And this allows me to encounter more characters in the map and thus get more character experience with trust level. So you can see the time move forward, right? And I can do this again. I'll just show you guys again. So I fast forward again, and here we have done another fight which takes less than a minute. And then time has progressed forward again. And I show you guys the time has progressed to midnight. So around this time, I'll be going around to check if there is special icons of exclamation mark. And you can forcefully spawn those exclamation mark by progressing through the time, thus getting more experience for your characters. So here you can see the black icky cat will have an indication, but it won't have a character icon. And I know directly if I run around in the street around this time, I can force Y encounters with one of the characters. And that is what I'm doing. Now, if you don't know all the locations we're searching for the Icky Cat, we have a video to talk about this. And it's very important for you to pick the right answer to get more trust level. If you pick the wrong one, you won't get as much trust experience. So here I just forced one of the encounters. And this allows me to get bonus experience. Now that I know there's no other character that is available at this time, I'm going to go to my bedroom and then I'm going to sleep for the next of the day. And then I'm going to repeat this method and I'll show you guys how many characters I can find and also the bonus experience we're getting. Now it's important to note that during this time I'm not directly calling those characters, but rather I'm letting those characters get in forcefully random spawns and this is where we get additional bonus experience. So here notice that we went to sleep and the next of the day starts, right? And here notice that there is a lot more character encounters that is available. There's Grace over here and there's going to be Anton over here. And then we also have a few other more characters. So over here we have Ben and also we have Ellen. And here we don't have any other characters. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to teleport directly to those characters and start talking to them. So we're going to skip forward a little bit. After talking to Grace, you get a bonus massive improve of experience. And this is not from calling those characters. So I'm going to skip forward a little bit. Basically, I'm going to run to each of the characters, talk to them, get more experience, unlock more rewards, and repeat the process. Now, during this time, I also want to highlight, as we progress through the time of the day, here I force for the go through the time of the day, I will always check for the black icky cat. Notice that I force the cat to spawn again. And here I'm going to run around at the city and then try to find the location where the cat spawns. And I fast forward a little bit. It takes a while to find it, actually, sometimes. So I'm teleporting all around the place, trying to find the cat. And here I eventually found the cat again at the back alley. And talking to the cat, picking the right dialogue, you'll get additional bonus experience. So as I'm getting character experience with trust levels, I'm also getting closer to my free pet. Now, finally, as I progress through all the maps, I see what other characters I'm missing, and I go for my final two characters with Ben and also Ellen. Now, during this time, I do want to highlight, while talking to certain characters, it is possible to not gain any trust level if you don't select the correct dialogue. Here, I'm trying to make Ben a sweet tooth, and he doesn't really like sweets by the same of it, and he did not give me any trust level experience on this particular dialogue. So it's not recommended to follow what I did over here. Because as you're going to see, after picking all the choices of the dialogues here, Ben actually didn't give me any experience. And this is not all. So let me show you guys over here. So after talking to Ben, after picking his direct order, we didn't get any experience, right? It is also possible to lose trust level. So here's one of the examples of me talking to Cohen, which is randomly spawned in one of the stations. After talking to her, I wasn't really reading what she was saying. This actually decreased my trust level. 
So be a little careful as you talk to different characters. Some of those characters you can say anything. Other characters are quite sensitive. And if you say the wrong things, you actually lose trust level. <laughs> That's not what we wanted, right? But thankfully, I never had more experience with coin. And losing some trust level with coin actually unlocked a special achievement, which gives me more free polychromes. So yes, <laughs> if you do lose trust level with characters, don't feel too bad. You'll still get additional polychromes for unlocking certain achievements. Now, in order to give you guys a better summary, at the end of the video, I'll attach this short replay of what I did in each of the day and how to repeat this process to get a lot more bonus experience with the trust level of characters and also how we can fast forwarding through time to find more characters. So to summarize the whole method, you still want to be directly calling three different characters, but you want to split them. Forcefully finding random characters using a combat system which allows us to skip time with this particular section of the game is actually pretty good and it takes less than one minute. And while you're looking for characters, you also want to find the Icky Cat multiple times on the 6th street for additional trust level. Repeat that bar process until you're no longer finding additional characters, or if you get sick of doing this in one day, you can come back and try to do this more. And the more you do it, the closer you are with the trust levels. So if I show you guys my trust levels with my characters here, you can see I have gotten a few characters to much higher trust level because of this. On Abby, on Anton, on Ben, and also on Grace. And I'm slowly to get my characters on higher trust level because I have encountered them multiple times. And gain a lot more experience than just messaging them three times a day coming from the daily reward. Now, similar to all the videos, if you want to follow the notes, those will be available in the links below. And if you find my videos helpful and you want to see more future videos for ZZZ and also other games to come, make sure you subscribe to the channel and keep the notification on for the latest content. You're the store manager, right? I'm at your disposal.